Hey, hey everyone, this is your boy, the Drunken Seller. Welcome back to another video, guys. And if you haven't heard breaking news, House and Senate agree to kick the can down the road to keep the government open until March. Until they can come, get the time to come together to get a final spending bill for the rest of the year. All the time, all the vacation, all the time, these son of a guns take off and all the money they make without working, you would think you sorry son of a gun barely work as it is a few days here and there and always out of D.C. or always out the office and always on vacation. How about you shut the doors, seal the doors and come up with a goddamn hardcore agreement to secure our borders, stop sending another dime overseas to any foreign wars, and fix America, which is your goddamn job as representative of the people. Why is that so hard? Why is that so hard to fix and do the right thing for America, Americans who you work for? Why keeping this kick, keep kicking this can? Oh, we bought a shutdown. That's because what's going to happen on the 19th tomorrow. Uh, we'll keep the government open until March. So we can get more time to come up with an actual real spending bill for 2024. How much more time you get need? Shut this sucker down. Well, that's too much to ask, though. It's not guess. Too much to ask. Let's see this. From the Washington Post, House Senate passed short-term bill avoiding government shutdown to March. Mm, what, month, month and a half-ish? Ooh, the face is about in the January now. Congress on Thursday passed legislation to keep the federal government open into March, approving the third stopgap spending bill in four months as lawmakers struggle to agree on a long-term government funding plan. So the fourth Spending bill, they keep the little little gap. Oh, little stop gap, stop gap. Instead of taking the bandits off and doing a full shutdown until shit comes right, till our borders are hundred shit secure, till we get a mass D D kicking these son of a gun legals out our country. Mmm, deportation. <gasps> That's bad racist if I say that. These people are uh, uh, immigrants. They come to America for a better life. My ass. They walk across the border illegally without our permission, send their ass right back. You get a back on the line when, and you might, you don't come back, you can't be legally back in this country for amnesty or anything for 10 years. I bet you people will stop crossing into this country where we know we're going to deport you, track your ass. And you won't be able to allow to come back for at least 10 years. Shit will stop. I bet you. They will stay in Mexico. They will come into America legally. Staying in their country. Filing paperwork or staying in Mexico. Filing for asylum legally. We run the paperwork until we tell you to come in. You stay your ass in your home country or in Mexico. <gasps> Why is that so hard? I can't go to any country say, and walk in. We're the only country we got over oh, the West and UK, sorry, London. People, the West is lost, basically. We're a lost country, lost cause. But you go to a third world country, you go to South America, Mexico, you cross that border if you want to, you end up getting shot. They don't play that shit most in a lot of the countries. You cross the border you want to in some in the wrong country, they will shoot you on sight and nobody will come miss you. And nobody won't say nothing. Yeah. So let's be real about that. So let's go back over this. The bill extends deadline to March 1st and March 8th. Basically, the first government shutdown was to been the 19th, which is tomorrow, and it's tomorrow, Friday, the 19th. The second uh, government shutdown, or oh, the second half of the government shutdown would have been from January 19th, then February 2nd. So March 1st and March 8th would be first part of the government on March 1st, and no deal, then, then March 8th. So they made a little closer than almost a week, week and a half ish when the, this one originally about to come up. Money for roughly 20% of the government, including transportation department, some VA 
benefits and food and drug safety programs have been set to expire just after midnight on Saturday. The reminder with funds the de defense and state departments, along with other crucial uh, functions, would have expired February 2nd without the new extension. The Senate passed the legislation 77 to 18. This afternoon, the House filed suit with the votes from 314 to 108 hours later after GOP hardliners launched a last minute press, press campaign to attach partisan border security to the measure funding package. The vote sent the legislation to the president, of course, signing the law to, to avoid the partial shutdown ahead of the deadline. The stop, stop gap spending bill calling a continued resolution on CR is intended to give lawmakers in both chambers time to draft and vote a full slate of annual spending or appropriated bills for the rest of the 2024 fiscal year, which will end September 30th. Of course, if you know fiscal years, start October 1st and end September 30th. For me and the government, and by the government, you know fiscal government, everybody else, that's what the fiscal years for government spending normally is. So let's go over this video here. What at the White yeah, House yeah. in Washington, D.C., where later today, President Biden and congressional leaders are going to be talking about a new spending bill. Yeah, that legislation aims to send more aid to Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan and also bolster U.S. border security. However, before that can get done, a short term funding bill to avoid a partial shutdown that still needs to get out of Congress. The Senate only advanced the bill last night, so they still need to vote to pass it before it heads to the House. We are also. Hey, ass. So, you know, have been saying that it's a partial government shutdown because not all agencies are going to be impacted here. Let's give you a list of, of what we're talking about here on your screen. Some of the big ones, military construction, veterans affairs, energy department funding for the Defense Department, though, does not run out until February 2nd. And while we told you earlier that this congressional leadership have um, agreed to a spending deal, it does still need to pass. The Senate is working on scheduling a vote on the measure soon. The House still needs to vote on it, and the bill could face challenges from Republican representatives. Now, while most Democrats and Republicans want to avoid a shutdown, a small group of hard-right extremists seem dead set on making a shutdown a reality. Speaker of the House... And you know what? Yes. Could Chuck Schumer right there? He just wants money for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. He want to use these foreign wars and hostages to secure the border. Oh, the right to scream this. Want to shut the government down. Yes, because you motherfuckers ain't even doing your job. So shut it down. We're not going to do your job, but protect our borders and protect Americans. Are we are we we should have sent another penny to a foreign country we till we fix and secure America first. But the Democrats, oh, you were screaming, America can't be first. We got to take care of it. We can take care of the people. It's a scream is to put America first. Bullshit. What about you? What do you think, guys? You think this little stopgap kick, kicking the damn down the road? I'm sick and sick of this. Shut this shit down and get and get to the hard line fence of spinning the cutbacks. Shut it down to the Democrats and he'd be a fucking feel it. Cause they, the Demo, it, the pressure would be on Joe Biden and the Democrats for the crazy stance of having the borders unsecured and, for, and money to foreign wars. Republicans, god damn it, grow a set of balls and shut this bitch down. Why are you scared to not shut it down? What are you afraid of? Oh, I forgot the Uniparty. You're all in the same. They're all in it together, guys. We're the only ones stupid and known to joke, think it's the left and right. No, they all friends, they friends, they all laugh at us. We're the crazy ones. True Americans, we got to let stop letting these sorry so called officials represent us, take our tax money, and do whatever we want, and don't even. Do the right thing for Americans. What are we paying taxes for? What are we trying to do the right thing as Americans when they keep on laughing at us 
spending, taking our tax all American money overseas, other country and other people so they can get fat and rich. And then they go over there, get their cut back. We're the only ones not on the game. We need to stand up and, 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 and get rid of all these sorry suckers in office. What do you guys think, guys? You think this the board of government, that's a good thing? Or you think, you think like me, we should have shut this son of a bitch down, let it burn, lock it up. Hey, they're not going to secure the borders. They won't keep sending money to you. Don't, you won't get my vote. Lock the, hey, shut the government down as long as we need to till some, till they start begging, until people some beg, Joe Biden beg. It's election year too. Shh. But, but we got weak leadership, weak men, and we got the hard times we're in now, guys. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video all out, guys. Let me know, guys, what you think. You think it's good that we avoided the government shutdown? A temporary one till March? Or you think, nah, you like me, lock this government up, throw it a key. Throw it away. It all worth it. Let me know, guys. Till the next one.